For this problem, we need to use the properties of matrices and determinants um, to find the determinant of that matrix. Um, so these, these properties, uh, which are listed in the book, um, the mo most important one for finding the determinant is that if we can get this matrix into upper or lower triangular form, then we can just multiply across the diagonal, and that'll give us the determinant. So upper or lower triangular form is where either all the zeros below or above this central diagonal are zero. Um, so that's our goal. Now the properties that we can use, we can switch two rows, and if we do that, we need to multiply our matrix by negative one, because um, that changes the determinant by negative one. Uh, if we multiply a row by a constant, we need to multiply the determinant by a constant. And we can add or subtract rows, uh, multiples of rows from each other without changing the determinant. So I'm going to start by switching two rows. I'm going to switch the first and the second row. multiply by negative 1. Um, next, I'm going to try and get rid of this i right here. So I'm going to do that by adding or subtracting i times this row. So that's going to be, I'll take row 2 minus i times row 1. OK, i minus i times 1 is 0. OK, I'm going to do this out below here. Minus 1 minus i times row 1, which is negative i. And that's minus 1 plus i squared. And i squared is negative 1. So that's minus 1 minus 1 or minus 2. Uh, OK, now is 0 uh, minus i times row 1. That's 0 minus i times negative 1. And that looks just like uh, I. And I'll keep this 0, 1, 1. OK, because I just subtracted a, roll, uh, a row, um, I don't need to multiply anything by this. But I need to keep that minus 1 that I got from switching rows. OK, next up, I want to get rid of that. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'll take row 3 and add 1 half times row 2. OK, 0 and 0, that makes 0. 1 plus 1 half times negative 2 is 1 minus 1, so that's 0. And 1 plus 1 half times i. That makes 1 plus i over 2. OK, so this, uh, this matrix is now in uh, upper triangular form. Um, so we can just multiply it across the main diagonal to find our determinant. And I have to remember I got this negative 1 that I'm still carrying over. Very important. Um, so the determinant is going to be negative 1, that one, times 1 times minus 2 times 1 plus i over 2. All right, minus 1 minus 2 become just 2 times 1 plus i over 2, which is equal to 2 plus i. So our determinant is 2 plus i.